Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm on the outskirts of Dakar, Senegal in a fishing village called Kaya. This is one of the main fishing villages of Dakar. Today we're gonna walk a little bit around the fishing village. We're gonna see some of the fresh catch. It's an amazing village. Then we're gonna go to the Pink Lake where they harvest salt. And then we'll probably be eating lunch, but then this evening we'll also be going to the coast in Dakar to eat a seafood meal where they lay out their fresh catch and you can choose your seafood and have it cooked right there on spot. So it's gonna be an amazing day, cultural day in Senegal, delicious seafood, and I'm gonna share it all with you coming up right now in this video. We're on the beach in Kaya village, one of the main fishing villages of Senegal. And they're just unloading, oh, they're unloading a fresh catch. These are monkfish. Wow. Captain up there on top of the boat. Nangadef. Boats here are just incredibly beautiful. All handmade, made from wood and beautiful color pattern paintings on the side of the boats. Oh, what a place right on the coast, right on the sand. So many boats. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very good, very good. Where are you come from? I Thailand. Welcome, I welcome to Kaya. Thailand. Thank oh, you. thank you very I much. To Kaya, you know. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow, look at that boat going, yeah. Literally fishing boats as far as you can see down the coastline into the mist. Oh, this place is incredible and these boats are spectacular. The craftsmanship. So do they have boats arriving at all times of the day? All time, from all time. From this time until five o'clock. Okay. Oh, okay, arriving and then the fresh catch goes the directly to the market. The fresh catch goes directly to the market and serve all over Senegal and West Africa. Forty thousand inhabitants live in the village, and okay. almost everyone is everyone is fisher. Fishers, yeah. okay. And women are fish traders. Yes, okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Then they're going to go off to the market to be distributed, to be sold off. But those uh, fish, uh, they're called monkfish locally. It's not the same kind of monkfish that I'm familiar with. It looks almost like a puffer fish, but it is a beautiful fish. That's like mainly what they're catching today. And we're definitely going to eat some of that today. Amazing. What a truly amazing experience here at the Kaya village. I'm on our way to go eat lunch and then after that we're gonna go to the Pink Lake and then after that we're gonna have some more seafood in Dakar. We're stopping here at a restaurant which is called Che Salim, which is at a hotel. And the significance of this restaurant is that, well, the Dakar rally traditionally finishes right here at the Pink Lake. That's the ending finish line of the Dakar rally. And then lots of the teams and drivers would come here to this restaurant to have lunch and to kind of debrief. So we're here to have a quick lunch. We ordered up some monkfish kebabs. <laughs> Very good, this kitchen is amazing. Oh, chef is incredible, the cooking skills just flopping. So these are actually pan fried kebabs, skewers. You can get a variety of meats. Those are the monkfish kebabs. He just pan fries them a bit of oil, ignites them on fire, just shakes them. And this is the assembling plating, plating up all over here. Tosses in some onions, blazes it out.
Du kommst. Komm mal, komm. Siehst du, siehst du, siehst du, siehst du. Das ist Fisch, okay. Yes. Fisch auch so, okay. Wow. Thank you, merci. Oh, ho, ho. Brochette de lot. In French. Ah, okay. So it's like a stir fry of yeah. monkfish and yeah. onions. That's the one she made, okay. And I ended up getting the monkfish, the fresh monkfish, which she stir fried with a handful of onions and peppers and tomatoes in a blazing fire like everything else. It smells really good. Served with lemon on the side, a scoop of rice. I love the style of the kitchen. Fast and furious and everything on fire. Yeah. Big chunks of the monkfish. That's what we saw. This is the fish that we saw at the, yeah. at the Kayar. Exactly. That we, we saw at the market. It's in season right now, the catch of the day. Oh man, giant, giant nuggets of monkfish. Looks incredible. Mm. Mm. Oh man. The soft freshness of that fish. So meaty, so soft. So moist. Oh, it's really good. And then you really taste the flavor of those onions, the tomatoes, the acidity of the tomatoes, the peppers. Really good. Squeeze on some of this lime though, for that extra squeeze of acidity. Actually, I think it has a bit of vinegar in it already, a little bit sour, nice. Mm. Mm. Got a little bit of chili sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Chili sauce. We'll try this. Oh yeah, is it made from the guana? You yes. smell like a little bit of that kind of fruity sourness to it. Nice. You can smell the aroma of that chili sauce. That smells really good coming from the guana chili, which is one of the the ultimate chilies of Senegal, one of the spiciest, and it's just unbelievable flavor. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That just makes it. Oh, that goes so well together with the monkfish. A little bit spicy, not as spicy as eating the, the peppers fresh, but it has amazing flavor. Fruity, acidic, and spicy. Oh, man. I need to load up on that chili sauce. That is wonderful. Mm, the guana chili sauce is nice. Lunch was delicious. We are now on the banks of the Pink Lake and amidst just mountains of salt that they harvest here. This is one of the most important places to harvest salt in West Africa. And look at these just mountains of salt. The entire road is salt. The entire banks of the lake is salt. Amazing. These are huge. Many spa in Senegal have their salt here. Salt from here? So it's, it's also very mineral rich. Very rich in mineral, wow. very rich in calcium and potassium. Mm. Is used for cooking, is used for drying fish. Ah, okay. And smoke. Oh yeah, minerals heavy, rich in minerals. And again, they're just like scraping this salt off the bottom of the pink lake, which is, it's just naturally replenishing. It's a sustainable uh, harvest of salt. And so this salt is so important for distribution to some of the inland countries uh, where they don't have salt deposits like this. Really interesting and fascinating. It's just like a sea, mountains of natural salt. And naturally, no fish, no shrimp, no life, apart from the algiers that give the pink colors and that give the colors. That's why we call it pink lake. But the real name of the lake is Retba. Lake Retba. Lake Retba. Lake Retba. Lake Red Bar, 380 grams of salt in one liter of water. Wow. And just nearby they have fresh water. And this is fresh water right here? Fresh water right here. How is that possible? <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. God mystery. <laughs> yes. God creation. Yeah, God creation. There's no life, there's no fish, there's no seafood in the lake. Only the algae, which provides this pink color. And it can be pinker depending on the time of the year, depending on the season, the rainy season, depending on the sunlight as well. You 
Now that what you're up close, you can see that the water is pink in color, almost like a deep red. Yeah, it's, the entire water is, is red in color. That is amazing. I couldn't see it from the back there, but now that you're up close, you really notice the red color. Oh. Surreal how red the water is. And again, it's some of the saltiest water on Earth, like the Dead Sea. They're just scooping salt, replenishes itself at the bottom of the lake that they can just harvest sustainably. And then um, the water is just about one and a half meters deep. So it's not, not deep. So the ocean is just behind the trees there. Oh, okay. And the ocean is up. The lake is 10 meters below the ocean. So we're below sea. So the ocean fills the lake underneath. Ah, okay. It's a natural process. like soupy. It's so thick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it feels like almost slimy on your fingers from that algae. Yeah. Slimy and soupy. We've jumped into the back of a Jeep. Oh, hello. And we are on our way to the dunes of the beach to experience the Dakar Rally. This is the last track of the Dakar Rally at Red Bar Lake, Senegal. And then it finishes here. And finish here. Awesome. And they go to Dakar for the official ceremony. Awesome. Welcome to the Dakar Rally. and turned on the dunes. <laughs> oh, making fast turns, ups and downs. Very good. That was a thrill experiencing the Dakar Rally. And man, what a spectacular beach. Oh, Senegal. Oh man, the cleanness of the beach and the ocean is unbelievable. Look at this ocean. Ah, oh, that was a thrill. We are now heading back to Dakar. It's gonna be about a one hour drive and then from there we're gonna to go to, to, I believe, the tip of the peninsula where they sell seafood every night for dinner. Nice. 
Merci. So that was about an hour drive back to the streets of Dakar. And we're stopping here on the ocean to actually eat fish full circle from where we were this morning at the fish market. But really quickly, a snack before we get there. Uh, this is, there's this type of fruit. This the fruit name is? Mat. Mat. It comes from the, the South Senegal, Casamance. Ah. Tropical fruit. It's kind of like a, like, kind of like squishy and yellow and brown. And they make this kind of like pasty, like a fruit cup with it. And you can get it salty, you can get it sweet, you can get it with chili. So I had to choose the chili option. Gotta try scoop in with that chili. You have to mix it. Oh, you have to mix it, okay. Yes. Mix, mix, completely mix. Oh, because of the chili? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll leave it extra spicy at the top. Yeah. <laughs> and then those are seeds inside that you don't eat? No, you don't eat the seeds. Just like that. Like. Just kind of suck it though. Yeah, you just suck it. My first taste of the fruit. Mmm. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, that's incredible. That's like a natural fruit jam. Sweet and sour. And straight up like, almost has a mango flavor, but pulpier and more runny. Oh, and with the chili salt in there. Oh, that's delicious. Wow. Almost like the consistency of applesauce, but with a like mango-y flavor to it. Oh, it's incredible. That's straight up like a natural fruit jam. Mmm. Oh, wow. The sweet and sour flavor. Incredible. And then with that chili. Very good. Oh, yeah. So, Papi, where, where are we? So, we're going to meet our friend Aliu here. Oh, he good. Gonna, he's going to introduce us, his friends here, where we're going to do for the grill. And yeah, so, this is like a popular place to eat seafood. Very popular place we call uh, Cour de Cassation in Dakar. Seafood grill. Cour de Cassation. Cour de Cassation. You come out here on the beach, there's fresh fish for sale. You can smell the grills going. We're right on the beach on the coast. It's a choose your own seafood and they cook it right in front of you. Oh, what an awesome place. Mark. 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 His name is Tamsi. Tamsi. Okay. Joff. Joff, we call him Wolof. We call him That's a grouper. That's a dorad. Dorad in French we call sea bream. Sea bream. This is what we saw at the Kayar fish market. This is the monkfish from today. Okay. Another sea bream. Somba. The local shrimp. Oh, the fresh mussels. Whole table full of seafood, the fresh catch of the day, all the fish. They have some shrimp, they have some shellfish. And then over back here, they're burning a fire here with a pot full of the, the shrimp cooking down. Oh, this place is incredible. Oh, Papi, this place is amazing. Amazing. What a place. Amazing sunset. What a in place. Dakar. What a place Everybody to come. Be here. Oh. And what? enjoy the sunset in Dakar. And for seafood lovers, too. Seafood this is lovers. paradise. You hear the mussels are going, boiling away. Flying fish. That's a flying fish. Flying fish. Huh? Wow, that fish is amazing. So many fish, the fresh catch of the day, and what an environment in the evening. Oh, this is the place to be in Dakar in the evening. <laughs> okay, that monkfish, we're going for this monkfish. Uh, 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 we got some of the shrimp, we got some of the snails, some of the mussels, and two fish. Perfect. Wow, the skin just comes off. Oh, it's no scales. No scales on the monkfish. Mm -hmm. 
So we're moving on over here to the fish preparation station where they scale the fish, where they clean and gut them. He just peels back that skin, revealing the meatiness. That's why that monkfish is so incredibly meaty. It's just like a solid piece of meat. That's incredible. It's like a meat torpedo in the water. <laughs> oh, the marinade station? Marinade. Oh, okay. Give us one, is that it? I crazy! Okay. <laughs> You make it. Call it a little Fish gets dunked into the kind of this thick sauce. Not totally sure what that is. It gets a full coating in the sauce, then directly onto the raging hot flames coming out, just wood burning grill. And that's gonna get like the char, the like incredible smoky flavor just absorb into the fish. Oh man, that smells delicious. After a while grilling the monkfish, they wrap it in foil because I think it will start to burn because that meat is so thick, it has to cook all the way through. Yeah, so then they barbecue with the foil on. All the other seafood has gone on the grill, the mussels, the sea snails, the shrimp. Chef Papi. Yes. <laughs> Yes. 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 <laughs> Really the Senegalese seafood, I mean Senegalese food touch. All those chopped onions. Onions are of extreme importance, which I'm sure is mixed with black pepper, with mustard, salt, and that goes on as a garnish for that fish. That is a massive platter of seafood. Senegalese style, that's beautiful. Okay, thank you, man. Tamsir. Tamsir. We are moving out beachside for the feast. Oh, and Sally is joining us for dinner. Yes. Oh, Papi, you gotta join us in here too. Oh man, we got a table here on the rocks, literally steps from the beach. Oh, these are the, the mussels, the gambas, which are the, the shrimp. We've got the, those are the sea snails. Sea snails. The monkfish is right there in the center. And the dorat. I think it's a sea bream. I think it's a sea bream. Okay, now we're gonna go in for the, the mussel first with some of the onions and mussel. Mm. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that, whoa. That mustard sauce, the flavor of the Dijon mustard, the flavor of the pepper, the strength of the onions. Oh, that's so good. That's truly the Senegalese touch. Is that pepper, onion, mustard mixture. Lot. The monkfish? Lot, lot. Lot, okay, let's try that. Just look at how meaty it is. It's literally like a chicken breast, just big chunks. And again, you give it the, the onion treatment. Every bite must include onions. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. 
Arabian. Soccer. Arabian. <laughs> Nekna. Very good. Nekna. That monkfish is absolutely incredible. That's coming full circle again from the fish market this morning to our table, from boat to plate in Senegal. That is, it's so meaty, almost like a chicken breast. So much meat. And then the flavor of the fire, the way they cook it, you've got the heat of the mustard, the heat of the pepper, the juicy crispness of the onions, which is just holding together. Okay, the next fish, this is the sea bream. And again, once you start eating these onions, you can't stop. Yeah. There's no going back, the onions are the highlight. Mm. <laughs> uh, have you tried this one? Yeah, the monkfish is incredible. Oh, the sea bream is incredible also. And this one too? Not yet. Don't okay, I will. Sea. Thank you. Yeah. These are the sea snails. Here we go for the sea snails. Sea snails. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. It's so sweet. Tasty. They're so sweet. The texture of squid, smoky. Oh, delicious. You can poke up some of those onions also yes. with your skewer. Do not miss that onion sauce. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, man. It is so good. What an incredible seafood stall on the side of the ocean right here in Dakar. And his brother is Tamsir. Alu. Alu. Oh, his brother is the one who is cooking also? Yes. Okay. Okay, so it's a family business. Yes. How many years have they been selling here? Four years. Four years, okay. No place I'd rather be right now. Sitting right here on the coast in Dakar, eating this giant seafood tray right out of the sea with amazing friends. The hospitality, the friendliness, the delicious food, the fresh seafood is just incredible here. And hospitality, we say teranga. 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 Senegal, the country of Teranga, the country of hospitality. Gambas. Okay, the gambas. So pull the head and eat the head first? Yes. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's so good. So good, so sweet. And then peel that body. These are huge, meaty. Atlantic gambas. And then you have to give it the onion treatment. Massage it in the onions. Oh, that's a pro move there, Bobby. Oh, and that mustard. Full oh, massage in the mustard. The onion sauce. Mustard, onion, pepper. Full rotation. Scoop up those onions. Mmm. Oh, wow. The meatiness, the, the muscularity, the sweetness, and that mustard pepper is just amazing. Mm. This is an incredible seafood feast. Thank you to Sali and family. Asali. Aliu. And so would people typically come here just to relax after a, a day of work and... Okay. Mm. That's a seafood tray you'll never forget. Tamsir Oh, yes. Tamsir, who cooked most of the food, he's come now to join us. Your brother, brothers from the family. So Hans here has joined us now for dinner. <laughs> mm. An amazing family. Incredible seafood in Senegal. I especially love that monkfish. Look at how just meaty it is. It's just like straight up nuggets. More meaty than a chicken breast. And there's kind of like... And then don't forget the lime juice. Oh, nice, Papu. With the lime juice squeeze. Yeah, on the fish. Nice. 
and there's kind of like no light out here, right? So once the sun goes down, you're kind of on your own. I have a small light, just a little light, but once the sun goes down, that's it. You're just eating in the dark, but that's totally fine as well. And Papi was mentioning that this place is open. People come here until about midnight. Yeah. Feasting on seafood. We've got a whole nother side here. And this side is even better because it's been soaking up in that mustard sauce. Oh. Mm. The mustard has just started to absorb into that fish. Saturated with Dijon, with onion juice, with black pepper. This is pure seafood happiness in Dakar. I'm utilizing literally the last rays of sunshine of the day. We finished with that seafood meal. What a thrilling way to end this incredible day in Dakar, Senegal. When you are in Dakar, if you love seafood, this is a place you have to come. And definitely check out the same stall. It's family run. They're so friendly, hospitable. They have a massive selection of seafood and that onion mustard pepper sauce will just ignite your taste buds and make you happy. And I have to say a huge thank you to my friend Papi from Visit Senegal. He does tours. He's the greatest guide in Senegal. He arranged this entire experience. An amazing guy. Thank you, Papi. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. And also, we're traveling around Senegal eating some of the best food from around Senegal. We've met incredible people and the food has been outstanding. So make sure you watch more videos from this Senegal series. Goodbye from Dakar. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.